Right, for our final story, we need to deep dive into the depths of the Pacific Ocean because something strange is happening there. There is a hole at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean and this hole is leaking water upwards. Not ocean water, but warm water. At least nine degrees warmer compared to the ocean water. How do researchers find this tiny hole in the vast floor of one of the world's biggest oceans? Well, the signs were first picked up by a ship sonar, which found unexpected bubbles beneath the ocean's surface. Initially, they believed this to be methane bubbles. But upon observation, researchers realized what was leaking wasn't methane or warm water, but tectonic lubricant. And it was coming from the Cascadia Mega Thrust. What's that, you ask? Well, it's a boundary between two of the Earth's tectonic plates, the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate and the North American tectonic plate. It just happens that the hole lies in the Cascada subduction zone. That, I'm getting a little technical out here, but that's a fault line between Northern California and the Vancouver Island. Where exactly is it located? Just 80 kilometers off the Oregon coast. It's not that far from the coast of America, not that far from Canada either. It's the first known leak of its kind. Scientists have not ruled out the possibility of more such leaks nearby. But here's what's scary, and this is why we have to monitor this really closely, is the thought of what happens next. Scientists explain that the loss of fluid could lower the fluid pressure between the two tectonic plates. And this could cause friction and stress and that could result in a massive earthquake. A nine magnitude earthquake is what some people have said is possible. Now that's a quake so strong that, you know, entire communities near that entire epicenter could be, could be destroyed. There could be, this is a Pacific Ocean, so you could have a tsunami. It could trigger a massive tsunami and affect the entire coastal areas. Countries on the coast of the Pacific Ocean could be seriously affected by this. Now look, could this hole be a sign that we're inching closer to a great quake? Obviously, we have no ways of knowing. The scientists are going to be analyzing this. But we're just telling you about this because this is a new story that you should continue to monitor and keep a close eye on. What does the Pacific hole mean? We'll wait and we'll find out.